no matter their skill level, there is something for kids to do on the 18th Wards program list. In today's Impact Give Back, sponsored by More Spark, we are learning more about the local nonprofit and how their programs build more community. Joining now is Janicia Neely. She is the executive director of programming. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming on. I was reading all about why it's called the 18th Ward love the story can you please share that with everyone yeah absolutely so there are 17 wards in New Orleans and we wanted the 18th ward to be a space where kids and families can all come and use sport to um, build community regardless of race regardless of gender regardless of income there's a space for you at the 18th ward it's so deep okay because it <laughs> exists but it doesn't exist you know I love it so much and you all have so many different programs yeah. you start as young as three and go all the way through college. What are some of the programs you all offer? Yeah, so we have a really great pipeline of programs. Um, at three years old, we start with Little Tykes. It's a little 30 minute session where the kids can learn soccer, flag football, basketball, all the way up to our high school and college age kids. So we offer a workforce development program where we train the kids and we employ them to coach in all of our programs. So there's soccer, there's basketball, there's flag football. Um, there are options for everyone regardless of skill level. We know that kids, it's really important for them to be active. Mm -hmm. And so it's up to us really to provide that space in order for them to be able to play. And it's so true and it's unfortunate because you look all around the country, a lot of people are saying, no more recess, we don't need it. That's a lie. Active is so important and to get activity as well. So when does this happen? This is all after school programming? Yeah, so we offer after school programming, but we also offer during the day programs. Okay. So we have a few school partnerships where we'll offer our Little Tykes program and then the after school programs happen between 2 and 7 p.m. Um, our primary area is in Gentilly in the middle of the city hey. in Columbia Park and so um, it's easy for everyone to arrive there to get there um, and have a space to play. Yeah, and how many different days do you all do this? Is this a five day a week program? Do y'all do stuff on the weekends as well? Yeah, it's a six day a week program. Oh, wow. So something Monday through Saturday. Um, we do take Sundays off, but there is something for everyone. That is so great. You all are seeing some photos of all the different things that they do at the 18th Ward. I'm so curious, why did you choose this medium of sport as a foundation to help these kids regardless of their age and background? Yeah, sport is a great connector. Play is a great connector. It's a great way for kids from different backgrounds to just enjoy each other. They're all learning, they're all growing, and sport is a great avenue to do it. What's the most popular sport? What's the one that's always like, dang, it filled up so fast? Soccer and little tykes. I Really? Three and four year olds, um, our parents are looking for something for them to do. And so that one is, it, it fills up very quickly. That is so fun. Now, does this cost anything or is it completely free? So we offer a sliding scale. Okay. Families are able to pay what they want, what they can. Um, and so families can play with us equipment everything included for as little as five dollars that's amazing per like activity per program that is so much fun and what are the requirements of course there's an age requirement yeah. start at three go through college but is there anything else you have to go to a certain school no there are no requirements our community programs are open to all um, our school programs are really designed for us to be able to bring sport to kids love that and fall registration is happening right now. What does the application process look like? It's very, very easy. If you go to our website, um, there's an option that says come play with us. And then you just follow all of the prompts for the registration. That's so cool. Now, is there anything, because you know we just passed the Olympics, everybody has been obsessed with sports right now, so the energy around recreation is so powerful right now. What's the most unique sport that you all offer? Or is it really just your traditional, your basketball, your flag football, all of that? Yeah, we are offering girls flag for primary school this season. I'm really excited about it. Uh, the Saints are really pushing girls high school flag. They had a successful season, and so we're hoping that we can start the pipeline for our little. Yes. Have you ever started pickleball yet? Oh, we did. We did it. We did a, a pilot season of pickleball and it went very well. It was very well received. Come on. Well, I think it's great what you all are doing. Thank you so much for being here. You are making an impact on our community. The name of the organization, the 18th Ward. And listen, registration is open now for the fall program. And for more information, you can log on to the 18th Ward.org or follow them on social media at the 18th Ward. All right. Coming up next, everybody, we're taking 
taking a turn, okay? It's an important conversation for parents to have with their kids, but it can be a hard one. How do you talk to them about sex? Well, we're sharing some tips after the break. Don't move.